So finally we have finished eating, well kinda. And we're here with Nathan, you alright mate? Yeah, I'm a bit full of the treats. Okay. Treats are okay. pizza, pizza. Okay, maybe we can take your mind slightly off it. Were you disappointed by Jamaica and the Caribbean cup? I was a little bit. Um, yeah. Where to start with Jamaica? Came to the came to the tournament wanted to defend their title. Didn't do that. Started slowly. That was that was the thing for me. Started slowly in both games. Uh, French Ghana, poor start. Had to get back into it in the second half. Same again on Sunday. Um, Gold Cup now. Yeah. Got to improve. Got to up their game for the Gold Cup. You think if the MLS players are called up for the Gold Cup, you think quarterfinals is a realistic aim for Jamaica? Um, for me, I think Curaçao and Mexico will get their top two. Now Mexico are bring, Mexico are bringing in, I'm not going to be popular with it, but Mexico are bringing in a B squad, saying that A team have gone to the Confederations Cup. <laughs> so I think, even with Blake, even with Lawrence, even with Javon Watson, even with Matchups, Holness. even with Barnes, even with Holness, I, 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 Dawkins. I still, I, I still, I still think Mexico will throw us up. I still think Mexico is going to us up. Would you make a third? Messi, Messi. Yeah, oui, oui. J'ai fini. Oui, oui, le deux. Ah, c'est le six mois. Messi, Messi. Le deux was going through. Yeah. Uh, one of the best, uh, one of the best third uh, place. Uh, yeah. Never know. You never know. So you think third? I think third. I think, well, yeah, I think, I think Kurosawa will go in the top two. <coughs> really? I think. Listen, I, I predicted Kurosawa to win the Caribbean Cup and no one was, well, people were, you know, oh, Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica. But, Leave it in the comments below, what should I do to Nathan Carr, please? <laughs> Well, we haven't lost to El Salvador since the year 2000. I mean, know. yeah, I mean, El Salvador are one of the weak, one of the weaker teams in the group. Um, but uh, Jamaica, they just didn't have a game. They didn't have a clear strategy in the Caribbean Cup. It just, it was, it was the, the game plan was long put up to Jermaine Johnson, 37-year-old Jermaine Johnson, and, 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 and Corey Burke. And Corey Burke, and kind of both the best. Um, there was no rhythm. There was no synergy. The passing was astray. Um, there was a lack of belief. The last kind of 10, 15 minutes, Curacao were controlling the game. They controlled in the final. And there's defending champions, you know, there was no there was a desire. So they need to, they need to definitely, definitely improve the goal cup. But I, I just feel like Curacao has shown their credentials and Mexico, even their lesser players, are still formidable outfits. So, yeah. I, I'm slightly concerned. As you see, there's a lack of creativity in the squad. Jamaica, I worry at centre back. Low, Richie, Campbell, Harrier. Is that good enough at centre back? Is it, is it good enough? I don't know. So let's get back Maria for them. Well, if I was if I was in charge of Jamaica, I'd be picking my best squad. Yeah. And who are the best two centre backs in Jamaica? Whether they're born in England, whether they're born in, in Jamaica, whether they're born. It doesn't matter whether. But who are the best? Marietta, Morgan and Hector. They are, and Jermaine Taylor maybe, so it's north of 30 now. But if you start him, I'm just saying, if you're going to start Richie and Campbell, or Richie and Lowe, in the Gold Cup, I worry a little bit. I don't want to be, pass I don't want to be overly pessimistic. No, I really don't. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be real. I always try to be honest with my predictions. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a better squad on paper for, for Jamaica. Um, but you, you, yeah, you can't ignore the fact that, that, that this Caribbean Cup campaign it was it was it was underwhelming, you know. Um, quite fortunate to get past French Guyana on penalties. Um, and and yeah, and then Croatia just des deservedly won the won the final. Didn't they? That's an interesting one. You know? Yeah. Um, Curacao just looked better equipped and more yeah. cohesive. So let's look at the goalkeepers perhaps. Andre Blake, Ryan Thompson perhaps. Um, Should be I back. And Dwayne Miller, yeah. yeah. I think those are the three goalkeepers in a 23-man squad. Yeah. Um, for, for, for the Gold Cup? Yeah. yeah. Has the 23-man squad been released yet? Not as yet. It's a 40-man still right. right now. I think number one would be Blake and then one of Miller or Thompson. Mm. Hyatt. Yeah. Um, 
as, as Deputy and Sir Blake. Um, and then, you know, the likes of Powell and Lawrence and maybe Taylor would come back in. Um, we're not going to see any European, um, UK based or born players, I don't think, in this. They don't feature in the, in the 40 man squad. Yeah. Uh, One new player that could feature is Dane Kelly. Yeah, I was going to say a wild card perhaps. Um, goal machine in the USL, Dane Kelly. Um, did very well at Charleston Battery, scored a lot of goals. The question is, can he trans can he translate his goal scoring exploits in, in the American game in international? He hasn't, hasn't got any senior captain of the English bank. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, but then I'm looking at Stratton thinking, well, you've got Dane Kelly, Corey Burke, um, Jermaine Johnson, Shamar Nicholson, still very raw. Is that enough? Fire? Is there enough firepower there to attack? Um, you know, bring Luton Shelton back. Possibly. I mean, Jamaica's record record goal scorer. Um, so, yeah, I just think attacking midfielder with a bit of flair would be brilliant for Jamaica. You know, Paul Wilson, Cardell Bembo. Um, maybe even Leon Bailey, if he can sort out his, his, his um, disgruntlement, shall we say, with the JFA. But a player with um, a bit of creativity and a bit of invention wouldn't go amiss, I think, Jamaica. Um, because it's very functional, isn't it? Yeah. Very functional. Lambert and Granderson and Bins and Gordon. It's very functional. Not too much creativity there. So. Um, Let's see, let's see. I mean, the way that you've been talking, we have to get your Jamaican passport, mate. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Do you reckon you can play um, a winger, a left, left, left winger? Um, I mean, it, it very much depends what one of Fleming's or, or Bin's um, has to say, but... Um, I mean, if I, if I impress Whitmore, um, when I apply myself, then... You never know, you never know. <laughs> you never know what might happen. But I'm still holding out for a call for England. Um, I'm hoping maybe for Qatar 2022. I can get the call up, fingers crossed. I've been on the phone yesterday to Southgate. Um, and he's on the phone to me saying he, like, he, likes, <laughs> he likes what he's seen. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. All right. So basically to wrap it up, <laughs> quarterfinals maybe. Yeah, quarterfinals maybe. Um, do let me know, I'm interested. I, ju I, I just think, if we're going on a basis of yeah. the Caribbean Cup, yeah. are Jamaica going to finish in the top two? And they group with Mexico, Curacao, who they just lost to in the final, and El Salvador. You know, not for me, not in, the, not in the top two. But it's all about, it's all about how much of an impact these newcomers can have, like Blake coming back in and, and so on, and Lawrence and how much of an impact they can have, you know. Um, but I, I'm fully aware that yeah, the Redhead Boys commentary faithful, I'm not going to be too happy with that prediction. Um, just like for the Caribbean Cup, but that's what, that's what I feel, that's what I feel. Yep, that's what you get from Nathan Carr guys, objectivity at its best.